guys welcome to the bombed project video so this is a video i'm using to announce my weight loss journey that i'm currently on and my goal is to lose at least 16 kg well like 16 and a half kg at the end of this video i don't know how much that is in pounds but i want to put it on the screen so this um project is just a list of rules and gui guidelines i have um written down for myself to follow that help me lose weight and it's nothing special i'm just going to tell you about it in this video so first of all i'm going to start my current body measurements i'm going to put it on the screen with a video and pictures of how i currently look like and i'm going to i'm going to also tell you the goal the goal weight i'm trying to reach um i'm going to make follow-up videos revealing my monthly and weekly stats so you're going to follow me along and see my progress and how far i've gone so we all know that to lose weight we need to first of all address our diet over anything else it's more important than exercise um, people say diet is 80 percent of weight loss and exercise is just the remaining 20 percent so for my diet i'm going to divide it into two and that is the losing phase and the maintenance phase for the losing phase of my diet i'm going to go no junk no junk food at all no added sugar i'm going to try as much as possible to stick to this because um i currently have um i won't call it an addiction but a dependency on junk and sugary foods and i'm trying as much as possible to curb that habit so I know it's not going to be easy and I'm probably going to go through a withdrawal phase and I'm going to um, document all that and tell you guys about it in the subsequent videos. I'm also going to do only fruits, veggies and the occasional diet drink if the cravings become unbearable. also going to do um, exercise and mindset shifts because losing weight is mental. As, um, apart from the calorie deficits, you have to also get your mentality in check because it's so hard if your mentality doesn't align with what you're trying to achieve so i'm also have to have to address my mentality my dependency of food my um i have this given up mentality and i procrastinate a lot so i have to address that if this um diet phase if this weight loss journey is going to happen at all i'm debating whether to use um homad or counting calories uh, the pros and cons of both of them are this in omad you don't really have to count calories you can just to be on the safe side but you don't have to you just have one reasonable meal a day you don't like one meal a day doesn't mean you scarf down everything in sight when you're having your one meal you just have the meal you normally would have so if your one meal is dinner you just have what you normally have for dinner and that's it for the day that's automatically automatically going to put you in a calorie deficit obviously because you can't eat your maintenance i don't think most of us can eat our maintenance in one meal but for counting calories obviously you count your calories as you go so you can have as many meals as you want or just three meals a day or even one meal a day and count your calories so i'm going to probably do both on different days so some days i'm just going to be like i don't feel like counting calories today and i'm just going to have one meal and that's mainly going to either be a lunch or a dinner and then the days i get really hungry in the morning or like times like my period where i just don't want to starve all day i'm going to have as many meals as i want to probably two to three meals and count my calories make sure i'm in a deficit and my goal is to mostly eat really low calories and people are going to be like just being the 500 calorie deficit and you're fine but unfortunately for someone like me i love to see results and i love to see results quick please i'm not saying any of you should do what i'm doing at all do not do this but at least i want to be in a thousand calories deficit at least so yeah but we'll see how that goes i might probably change my mind and i'll let you know if i do in the subsequent videos i really love if you come along with me in this journey so if you want to um i would suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can get videos so you can see the videos as they come out so one thing i prefer in omad is i don't have to obsess about calorie counting because for someone like me counting calories become obsessive um at a point but not always we just my personality and my own relationship with food i'm sure it's not going to be, be like that for you and one thing but one thing with omad is it really helps to cut down snacking especially for me that wants to eliminate snacking altogether so i think omad is going to really really help with that and also helps with appetite suppressants 
because for me especially if i find that i fast during the day the longer i fast the more my appetite just goes away right but if i have meals throughout the day i my appetite remains steady that also helps with the mental gymnastics of counting calories several times a day and i and again that's just a me problem i'm sure it's not going to be the same for you so i'm just going to do both omad and calorie counting at the same time and on different days as the spirit leads as far as i mean uh, um, a deficit that's all that matters so the next phase of um my weight loss journey is going to be the maintenance phase this is after i've lost the 16.5 kg and i want to maintain and this maintenance phase is going to stretch for months and months and months and probably the rest of my life because you obviously have to maintain weight loss for the rest of your life because if you just let yourself slip and go back to old habits you're going to gain all the weight back so for the maintenance phase i'm not going to have any restrictions because i don't realistically see myself um cutting out junk food and sugar for the rest of my life i might limit it i might never go back to the dependence i had on it but i don't think i will 100 percent eliminate it from the rest of my life but i'm definitely going to eat much less of it um normally i have to eat junk and sugar every single day so i'm hoping in this maintenance phase something that's going to be like every other day or like once a week and stuff like that so going to keep up with exercise um yeah i forgot to add in the losing phase i'm going to be doing exercise and exercise is mainly going to be walks i'm going to add um hit 5,000 to 10,000 steps a day. I'm not going to be too ambitious in the steps because I don't want to set myself up for failure. So 5,000 to 10,000 is something very realistic and something I hit every single day without trying. So I'm sure I'm, I'm going to be able to keep up with that. And I'm also going to add in um, calisthenics um, and Pilates in my house because I can't really go to the gym right now due to distance and time and other things so i'm just going to do pilates and resistance training in my house i am added with the walking so the pilates is going to be a minimum of the pilates and calisthenics is going to be a minimum of 30 30 minutes every single day yeah we're going to keep up with that in the maintenance phase so hopefully i've built i'll build the habit during the losing phase and it's going to be something that follows me for the rest of my life and hopefully i'll be able to join the gym sometime later this year and continue building on that habit I also plan on counting my calories here and there during the maintenance phase just to make sure I'm on the right track and probably um, still do other forms of intermittent fasting, probably like maybe two mad or like 16-8 and other stuff like that. This isn't the first time I've tried going on a weight loss journey. I've tried and failed so many times. I even have a video of me doing a water fast to try to kickstart my weight loss journey and that failed miserably and I even gained more weight. I gained even like 5 kg after that. I'm not saying the water fasting caused me to gain weight. It's just me and my habits and my lifestyle and my bad relationship with food. So that's it's just a me problem but I'm working on it. So but hopefully this is going to be the last time. That i'm trying and hopefully this time is going to work because i don't plan on giving up so i also have early before pics i might put them on the screen just before pics of years ago when i kept on taking before pictures but there were never any after pictures to go along with it but and then now you can see I've gained even more weight from the last time I took a before pic. So that's just sad. But so disclaimer, uh, losing weight won't solve all your problems. I, I won't know that for a fact because I've I've lost weight in the past and but I quickly regained it. So I was never really in the maintenance phase of losing weight. But from people who have lost weight and kept it up for years and years, losing weight didn't solve their problems. They still had the same body dysmorphia, um, same insecurities as before they lost the weight. So it's a mental thing. So as as while you're losing weight and working on your physical self and exercising and getting stronger and fit, you also have to work on your mental aspect. And if that means going to therapy, journaling, meditation, anything that'll help you love yourself and reunite yourself with your body let to love yourself at every size because if you hate yourself when you're big you're not going to love yourself when you're when you're small i'm sure you think that you just automatically wake up one morning loving yourself when you're at your goal weight but it doesn't work like that it's a journey it's a mental journey so you just have to learn to love yourself as you are Obviously, my method will not work on everybody. In fact, I'm not even um, recommending it for everybody. I just want you to follow my journey. And if you're also in the process of losing weight, you know that there's someone who's losing weight with you. You can leave comments in the. You can leave comments, and I'm going to reply. So we just we know we got each other, and we got this, and we're going to get it. We're going to get our goal together. But 
you don't have to copy my method you can just find out a method that works for you and I'm sure it's going to work perfectly but for me this is something I've come to sit down and thought about and I felt like this was the best way I could go about it so yeah I'm not advising you to use my method of OMAD and counting very low calories and shit and when I mean very low calories I don't mean anything less than a thousand calories I'm not eating less than a thousand obviously because I'll just be starving all day but <clears throat> if you are also on a weight loss journey i really appreciate it if you let me know and also follow on mine so we can just keep tabs on each other and support each other thank you very much for watching this video um i hope to see you in the next one and hopefully and hopefully by then i've lost like some kgs and i'll have some pictures and my progress to show you guys thank you very much bye